Now, Mike, uh, what are you going to be doing as an assistant superintendent? What are some of the functions that uh, would be involved, and what are you? What are some of the focuses that you're going to be a part of? Well, my primary responsibilities are uh, focused on curriculum and instruction. So. Um, focusing what it is that gets taught in the classrooms uh, mm -hmm. day in and day out and how that um, curriculum is delivered, how the content is delivered. Um, also work with uh, the information we receive from the students uh, relative to their test scores and um, make some decisions about uh, what to do next or at least make some recommendations to the superintendent about where we should go um, with the curriculum and the instruction. Uh, this upcoming year, math is certainly going to be uh, a curriculum area of focus because uh, uh, over the last few years, uh, that's been an area that uh, the tests, the test scores have uh, indicated uh, our students are not performing as well as they are in some of the other content areas. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not doing, um, I would, wouldn't say they're doing poorly, but they're doing um, not as well as they are in uh, some of the other content areas. So we need to focus on. Um, what was your favorite? subject <laughs> when you were going to school? Um, my, my favorite subject was English and uh, I think that it was due to the, uh, the inspirational people that I had uh, as teachers. Um, I really wasn't introduced to um, classic literature until um, I reached high school and um, a little bit in uh, junior high school but mm -hmm. in high school I had some terrific terrific teachers uh, that uh, really instilled in me a love of, uh, of reading and I, I, I think it was just because those teachers uh, showed me the, the beauty of the language. Yes, right, right. Now you were born and raised in Maine? Yes, was it? a small town, Millinocket, Maine. Yeah. Uh, the butt of the uh, Bert and I story, you can't get there from here. Uh, <laughs> so there so. wasn't anything around there at the time? Well, there's still nothing around there. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> but the highway was finally completed a few years ago. <laughs> um, Dr. LeBranch, uh, could you give me an idea of some of the uh, jobs that are involved with being the uh, superintendent of the whole school district? And we'll get into that in a minute as far as uh, we also have Wyndham involved. So it's a, it's a pretty large district. But uh, could you give me an idea of like a day-to-day -day type of... Event. Yeah, well, the, well, day day to day, uh, uh, it would be difficult to describe because each each day is uh, so very different. Uh, but ultimately, I'm responsible for you know the employment of uh, all our personnel, and we have uh, over 700 uh, people who are uh, involved in the operation of the school district. And I, you know, oftentimes, when I go visit elementary schools, and the first grader will ask me. Uh, uh, what is your job? <laughs> and I'll say, and, I'm, and I might start by saying something like this, well, how did you get to school today? Well, I, I came to school on a school bus. And I said, well, part of my job is making sure that that bus shows up on time. I said, now, when you got to school today, uh, where did you go? Well, we went to the cafeteria and we had breakfast. Yeah. Part of my job is making sure that cafeteria staff is there and making sure that the food is there and the people are there to prepare the breakfast so that you have that breakfast bef before you start your day. And I will take them through a typical oh, school great. day <laughs> and, and point out to them that in all those pieces, um, my imprint is there in, in a variety of different ways. So there's a lot of delegation, but the ultimate responsibility comes to, to me to affirm recommendations in all those areas. Uh, so day to day, it might look like that. In a more global picture, uh, it, it's about uh, reinforcing the vision of the school board and the community uh, as based upon our strategic plan uh, so that we uh, create the schools that this community wants. Mm. I have a, a saying that the communities get uh, the schools they deserve. Uh, because we're our, we, are, we will not be any better than, than, than the community wants us to be, quite mm -hmm. frankly, and, that's, and that has to be demonstrated by their active participation and support. So yet another part of my job is marketing the school district, gathering the support to get people coalesced around significant issues, uh, to interpret the policy, to advance uh, the goals of the school board, uh, so that if they're talking about 
literacy as being the number one priority, then I have to communicate that to Michael and his role as the assistant superintendent and he with the principals. This is how we're going to, we have to talk about the process, the means by which we are going to advance this. And, and uh, so it's, uh, it goes from the, uh, the esoteric to the sublime, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes in terms of uh, the whole, the entire scope of responsibilities. And ultimately I like to tell the elementary school children, and I'm the guy who says whether or not you go to school on storm days, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> with, with which they find important. very intriguing and we can carry on a rather lengthy discussion about how that decision is made. How many schools are in the district and uh, employees? Are? Yeah, we have eight uh, schools. We have uh, obviously the six neighborhood elementary schools, the Woodbury School and the high school. We'll run approximately uh, uh, a population this year of about 5,100 students. That's been where we've been the last couple of years, and that includes some 600 students that we take in under the area agreement from Windham here at uh, Salem High School. Uh, so that would leave us with about 4,500 4, of our own students. Mm -hmm. And 13 years ago when I arrived here, our student population was around 3,200. Um, and uh, we're, you know, well, we're 1,400. What are the effects of uh, the Wyndham uh, students being here? I mean, is it, uh, is it a problem or is it actually well, something that is easily resolved? Well, everything, uh, uh, it's uh, in the eyes of the beholder. I mean, there right. are those who would say to me it's a problem because the high school is at capacity and that requires you to uh, come to us to ask for additional resources, both in terms of space, staff, and, and, and equipment to make that happen. Um, so in some folks' eyes, that's a problem. Uh, in other folks' eyes, they would look at it as a benefit because uh, what we're doing is, just as this nation and this state is not isolated, uh, we are not isolated. And there is an interdependency between communities around how do you take the resources that are available and make the best of them. Uh, and from our perspective, the Winham relationship under the area agreement has been a positive because those students have been blended into this culture. They have made contributions uh, to this culture. We think that conversely, our students have uh, also helped to shape their way of thinking uh, mm -hmm. and to help them look at their problem solving issues differently because although there is a sameness around the geographic area, there is also a distinction in terms of expectations within the two communities, mm -hmm. and which is not to be unexpected. So we think there's been a win-win there. Um, our challenge right now is, is it in our best interest now that we have maxed out our capacity here to continue that relationship and what is happening, uh, the board uh, has authorized and the group is actively working and just met last evening as a matter of fact uh, and it's, it's called the uh, Salem High School Facilities Committee and they are looking at that issue and, and going to be making recommendations to the school board about uh, what it is, we, what our options are as we look ahead to uh, uh, either requiring more space uh, because we're going to continue this relationship or uh, are we going to see a point down the road where this relationship needs to be terminated right. and then consequently the amount of improvements, physical improvements needed to be made in this building would be very different if those students, uh, if the Winham students uh, uh, were still here. So uh, that's probably the most significant challenge ahead for for the for the school board and for myself at this point.